Earlier in the week, we reported on a local teenager travelling to China to represent England in the top model of the world competition. Bay TV can now report that after two days, Sophie is back home safe and sound after being stranded in Chandao due to organisers failing to inform her that the pageant had been postponed till March. I was just crying. I thought this can't be happening to me. I was just, I was just scared about losing my luggage and then it just backfired on me and I've ended up stranded in China, the other side of the world. There hasn't been an official reason as to why the pageant was postponed, but it's speculated it was due to some of the girls in the competition struggling to get a visa. I've got a new phone, got no one to talk to because the airport's shut, not, no one can speak English to me. They're looking at me like I've got f free ads because I'm a scouser as well, you talk even faster. So some of them are like, slow, slow. Meanwhile in England, Sophie's panic-stricken mum had just got the news. When I got the phone call, from like two days later, two days later saying, Mum, no one's here with a sign with Miss England on. I said, it might be late, just wait. If these men are dragging my case off me and all around me. I said, don't go with them, Sophie. Wait there, I'll get in touch with Rachel, see what's happened, why they're not there to meet you. And the next thing is, um, a phone was getting, my phone's going to be flat. So I phoned up this Rachel that's head office. And I said, why is there no one there to meet my daughter? After 11 hours, Sophie finally arrived in London Heathrow and was driven home. Like, as soon as I got home to my mum, I said to her, I'm just glad. It's like something I can look back on and laugh at because it could have went anyway, really, if you think about it. Like, I could have went with the wrong person or anything. It, it just, it, like, it's, I'm happy. It's something I can look back on and laugh at. And it's like an experience. Sophie has said, despite what happened on the trip, it has still encouraged her to want to go backpacking in the future. I think she's more be more stronger in March after what she's gone through this time. I mean, I was can't really go worse, can't yeah, I was really worried this time. I was really upset. I was crying on the phone. Didn't know who to phone. Didn't know what to do. It's not like I just get a flight. You've got to get a visa. It takes you days to get over to China. I was just scared for her safety. I just I can't believe I, it's a big international contest like that, and that happened to me. And there was no one to tell me it's been postponed. This has been Natalie Townsend, reporting for Bay TV.